So I'm here with Dave, more commonly known as Illaman. Hello. So you are a multi-talented guy. You're everywhere, all at the same time. What's your secret? Um, I can't tell you. Mm. I'll tell you, I'll show you. <laughs> That's the secret. That shit. <laughs> No, um, it, honestly, it's it's, uh, it's my my uh, growing up. I was around a lot of different musical people, did a lot of different stuff, and just was pushed to like do all kind of different things from young, you know. So yeah, started doing garage and then garage. You know, L London's got so many different sounds. You kind of just jump on everything, man. Yeah. That's that's my that's my motto. Fuck it, <laughs> basically. Yeah, you've experimented with so many genres, like. Mm. Oh, jungle, dubstep, electro, hip hop, grime, just to name a few. What yeah. would you say is your favourite? Metal. Metal. Yeah, I was in oh, yeah, yeah. Metal band. I was in a metal band for nine years. So that was where it all started, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's metal, I love metal man. I love starting a mosh pit. There's nothing better than being on stage and like initiating a mosh pit. Yeah. And your songs are making people fuck each other up in a nice way. <laughs> it's brilliant. In so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And mm. you played it. Loads of festivals. What would you say is your maddest moment at a festival? Last year at Secret Garden, shout out to Breakage and Dismantle. We did a three man stage dive, got carried all the way to the back and forward. Yeah, incredible. And it was uh, it was Breakage's birthday, I think. If I'm wrong, sorry. I think it was Breakage's birthday. And it was last minute. I saw James and he was like, Yeah, come jump on a mic. And I jumped on a mic and we did a three man stage dive. Incredible. Yeah. That sounds amazing. I am so my jealous. First gig, my first gig, that was the. Uh, at at the uh, the garage in Highbury and Islington, and I was with my metal band. We played a battle of the bands competition, and we won it out of nine bands. And that was, you know, the first time I was on stage, and I saw 500 people in front of me. I, you know, I'd never rapped to that many people, so yeah. when I done that, I was like, "Yeah, I'm bad, isn't it? <laughs> Man's bad, fam. You get me, fam? <laughs> oh, yeah. So tell me about your journey through the music industry. Um, what in terms of of what, Vicky, and how it started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, cool. So when I was about 13, my cousin used to DJ on a pirate radio station in a tower block in North London. And once he was like, come and jam and pick up the phone. Hold tight the 279. Uh, like, so yeah, I used to go and pick up the phone on the, on the radio station. I used to, and them days I was listening to old jungle tapes, like old Skibbity and like Stevie Hyper and Ragged Twins and all them kind of people. My granddad's Jamaican, so he... He, he, you know, brought me up listening to reggae, so I was always into that whole kind of MC sound and culture or whatever. So yeah, I just ended up going radio once and ended up getting on the mic. You know, he's like, "I'll oh, just get on and host a bit," and it started from there. I was like, "Yeah, I like this," and then um, started writing a little bit, and then got asked to do a few little house parties in the ghetto, in the estate, which is just going MC through headphones, like one headphone. Whoa. And shit, yeah, like you know, mm -hmm. fucking. Yeah, mad. So yeah, just you know, music, man. Just grew up with a passion for music, and then just yeah. got into hip hop. When I was like, uh, when I went to secondary school, just you know, fucking got played like Genius's Liquid Swords album, the Wu Tang album, and heard the samples, and always loved like um, comics and kung fu and stuff, and kung fu films and whatnot. So yeah, when I heard that album, all the all the kung fu samples, yeah. you know, that was what well, you know, I started loving it. And then um, yeah, man, just grew, and then just fucking just love music, just love being on stage, love chatting shit. <laughs> yeah. Where would you say is your favourite place that you've played? Uh, Experience-wise, Secret Garden Festival for me every year is it's impeccable. Yeah. Shout out to Eddie Temple Morris. <laughs> yeah, he's um yeah every time every time I play at that festival, any stage I'm on, there's always a wicked vibe. But um, uh, boy, I don't know, man. It's mad in terms of playing places like not in a bit of egotistical big head way, but I've played so much places around the world. There's been so many different vibes, mm -hmm. and so many, you know, I don't know, man. Just anywhere that's got fucking good energy, really. Do you know what I mean? And anywhere I can do exactly what I want to do. Because sometimes when you go to countries and you MC, they don't have to take it, so they're a bit like, "What is this? Like, well, who's this guy talking over the music?" And they don't yeah. get it. But when you go to places and they naturally just understand the MC culture, you know, that's for me. That's the best places. But um, yeah, no, so many places. South Africa. I went to South Africa the first time last year. With um, shouts out to no names for throwing beggars, bare name drops, and um, <laughs> no, but yeah, it's mad. I went with I went with him to South Africa last year, and fucking hell, man, the vibe out there was wicked. Yeah. So yeah, just anywhere that's got vibes in it. Yeah. Just don't be dead in the crowd. Just go off, take your shirt off, fling a shoe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Basically. Yeah.
Who would you say you've enjoyed collaborating with the most? Or if you can't really, don't want to answer that, who would you like to collaborate with in the future? I know I can answer it perfectly. Oh, yeah. um, problem child. Yeah. I've always wanted to be in a rap group for, you know, from, from when I was little. The idea of being in a rap group was the most like exciting thing to me, having like two other MCs that know your lyrics in and out. And when you perform, they know, you know, you just have a breath and they just know when to feel your shit. And that was always like, you know, exciting. So yeah, problem child, Dabla from London Zoo, some guy from London Zoo, and Double Edge, like they're my two favorite rappers. They're the sickest two rappers I've worked with, with so many different people. And every time I write a rap with them, I have to step my game up. They go and record shit. I go and listen to it. I have to rewrite my shit because they're fucked. Like so yeah, them guys, man, problem child, Dabla and Double Edge. And I'm not just promoting new shit. That's the truth. They've been doing it just as long as I have. So yeah, man, problem child, problem child. <laughs> Do you think you give us a little freestyle? I'll give you some bars. Go for it. Um, are you blood? Are you mean? So I slip on the rhythm, spitting wicked like a green goal. On the lee, on the lee. I push it in her belly like food or a bevy. So we dump MCs and put them in the cemetery. Whoop! Flow's too mad. I smoke so much, life's a foolproof plan. Don't make me switch and turn jewel Claude Van. Damn, man, a man is moving zang. I will flip on a prick. Make an MC bust a shit in the pants that it was a little kid. Grown man ting, five star general, good for gal body like one sack of vegetables. 80% shit and 20% credible, but one thing's for sure, they're 100% edible. I'll eat any MC munch like food. Step on the stage and spit bars like boom. Fly around the world doing shows like Zoom. Then sweep a gal off her feet like a rascal up broom. Might kill it for billet, tickets figure, get ill, put jigger, mention figure, this figure, then deliver lyrical spill, but it's a bit you sippin' this spitting rubber, but hit a ship at the tip of the body figure to give a little dip. I'm leaning to the left. Waddle to the right. I've been smoking on that shit. It turned a motherfucker blind. Jump around like a prick. Go mad and lose your mind. It's that mosh pit music. Fuck about. Get punched in the eye. Right? Problem child. Ha! <laughs> what? <laughs> that was mental. That was awesome. That was great. I, I have a high five. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. No worries. We'll oh, shouts out to King. Shouts out to King Apparel. Yeah. Sponsors. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must yeah. pick them up. Otherwise, they'll be like, why didn't you pick us up in a video? Dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my nan. Shout out to my granddad. I'm not even joking. Shout out to them because they're straight gully. Nan comes to the gigs and shit and drinks tequila. Oh. Yeah. What a legend. Yeah, straight, That's man. Awesome. I'm only around legends, isn't it, Vix? You have to be around legends. Okay. Don't waste your time with. Shout out to Jung. <laughs> yeah. Surround yourself <laughs> with legends, man. Fuck everyone else. Yep. Yeah. Fuse TV. Illa, man. <laughs>